Epcot. Welcome, Epcot. Check out this line of cars to get into Epcot at a quarter after five at night. What's going on? And it is Friday night. We made it through the week. I'm headed over to Epcot because Night Ranger starts their series of concerts tonight as part of their flower uh, and garden. I think it's called the Flower Power concert series, uh, which is essentially just like food and wine part two, even though there's a festival here for pretty much like, I think it's like 340 days out of the year now, they have festivals going on at um, Epcot. But today is Flower and Garden. Uh, we're not here today to do like all of the food sampling and all that good stuff. I will be back here on Sunday with Mary to check out the food vendors and all the different things because quite honestly she enjoys a lot of the food items a lot more than I do. Um, but I am here because it's Friday night, Night Ranger is free, and we're gonna get this weekend started right. By the way, basically for any non-concert type shots tonight, I'm using my original Canon G7X because I got tired of looking at the little hairs that were straight in the corner and everything. Patiently waiting for G7X Mark III to come out so I can buy an upgrade. We made it back. Topiaries. Spaceship Earth is down. Down. Figment. Butterflies. I can hear Night Ranger all the way across the water from here. Hopefully the boat's running. The park is packed for Friday. Night Ranger is on though. We gotta get over there. I think we might just wait for the next set though so we can get a better seat. Starting to let us into the pavilion. About 20% of the people in front of me were not here and cut the line. Good times. This entire section is reserved. <laughs> what the heck? I made it to the fifth row on the left. These are not the seats that I normally would want to sit in. I do have particular seats that I like when I come to Epcot, and that's why I tend to wait. So I'm gonna sound like this is a ridiculous rant, but there are a lot of rows that are reserved for different reasons here. Awesome view, but I really would have preferred an aisle so I can get better pictures. But we'll be back Sunday. We're gonna do something we always look forward to here, and that is playing some Night Ranger songs acoustically for you folks.
Night Ranger was awesome. Look at this crowd. Whoa. We got here just in time for them to take a bow. Good show. I enjoyed it. Hey, these are the guys that leave all the thumbs down. Well, Spaceship Earth is still down. It's the only ride that I had a fast pass for today. So we're gonna head out of here. Decent day at Epcot. Really quick, probably the quickest trip I've had in uh, a long time. Look at that shadow of me holding the camera up in my face. I had a real issue with people cutting the line before. It's no bueno with me. If someone gets off the line because they have to go use the restroom and things like that, that's one thing. If you're watching the first set of the concert and then you go cut the line so that you can get into the second set, that's not cool. We've arrived at Disney Springs. Kind of looks like a zombie containment unit. In the Galactic Outpost, they have new hats. So sparkly, I'm touching them. All glittery now. And the side of those hats, nothing really new in here. Or at least nothing that we haven't seen before, Star Wars wise. The Marvel store was pretty much all Black Panther at this point. They didn't have anything for Avengers Infinity War, although the regular store shelves should start seeing Avengers Infinity War stuff now, either this week or next week. And if you haven't seen the news, that movie's release date got moved up one week to now, April 27th. Back over by Maria and Enzo's, the pizza place, the Edison. We have not been back over this way um, since the first day the Maria and Enzo's opened. And I've got to meet some friends in the Edison that are here on vacation. The Springs is packed. I'm gonna see if I can just get a drink and maybe some food in the Edison. We're back. Uh, sure, idiot. This is what it looks like for dinner. They're already clearing the floor out over here for entertainment. Let's see how the Edison catalog of parts has changed since we were here last. So for the dinner menu, we got deviled eggs, 12 bucks, a dancing corn dog, jumbo lump crab cakes, that sounds good. 28 day dry aged prime rib, why 28 days? Zombie like. I am trying the $20 Grilled cheese and tomato soup. I gotta taste what $20 grilled cheese tastes like. You get three different salads to choose from. Some side items, shakes. These are the Edison signature cocktails now. They've changed a little bit since opening. You can get an order for the table as well. And then you have the house cocktails. And also mocktails. I'm drinking a Coca-Cola. We have a ton of different beers here. Lots of different beers, ciders, more wines than you could shake a stick at, and then just regular alcoholic drinks. That's a $20 grilled cheese sandwich with some tomato soup. Here we go. That's at least $12 or $13. I'm not sure if it's 20. Soup may be a $7 soup. I'll try that. Here's the soup. The soup tastes just like the tomato sauce that was at the restaurant next door at Enzo and Maria's. I'm pretty sure that it is just like the, uh, the tomato sauce that they used on the lasagna when we were there. There is a live band playing over there. And Disney Springs is really trying to push late night entertainment at these bars, restaurants. Open it till two o'clock. It's kind of like they want a, a little bit of a taste of Pleasure Island back again. At least the money part of it. They came down the wrong stairs.
in between the hangar bar and boathouse, this area over here where they normally used to have bands play is now like a dance floor, open to the public for free. In the Lego store, they have the mammoth Millennium Falcon on display. This is the guy that's like 500 bucks. They actually sold out of it, so I don't know the price because the sticker's not on the thing. But 7,500 pieces. And you could either do the circular disc for original trilogy or the square disc for the new trilogy. Actually, it's $800. My bad. Ooh, at the dress shop, orange bird dress. Oh, and Mary Poppins. That's cool. Monsters Inc. I love this. Look at Randall. Oh, and the Haunted Mansion. That's pretty cool. And they all have accessories. As you can see. It's Mike with one eye. Here's Mary Poppins bags. And this tiny hat. It's like a hat for cats. Ten bucks. We've got a poison apple. Look at this orange bird stuff. Ooh. It's the tiki 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 room. This is like the Magic Kingdom all together. You got pirates, the tiki room, and this boat, haunted mansion, space mountain, partner statue, the castle, another haunted mansion outfit. Sorry, ma'am, I stepped on your foot. This is a store I've never seen here. The Disney Corner. Looks like maybe for little kids. We've got cups and mugs, cookies, jewelry, clothing. What is this? I like those headbands. We got the same Disney hats that we see at most places. The original top knot. Tons of Minnie Mouse stuff. I am back home. It was kind of a mixed bag night. Um, not the most awesome experience at Epcot, um, but we'll be back there on Sunday um, for full garden flower garden <laughs> experience. Um, the uh, the cutting in line put an initial damper on the night. The show was amazing. I love seeing Night Ranger. That was like the seventh or eighth time that we've seen them play at um, theme parks and. Um, if you do go to see Night Ranger, if you happen to be a fan at all, um, they do different sets. So they play different songs at different sets, and they typically do that acoustic set that we saw tonight. I think it used to be in like the, the front end of the set, so now I guess they're doing electric, acoustic, electric. Um, but in any event, awesome show by those guys. Awesome seeing my friend Sam that was in town tonight. So we went over to Edison. Um, by the way, that tomato sandwich, not only is it not worth $20, it was just not very good at all. Um, I did not like the tomato soup. The tomato soup was basically the same tomato sauce that um, we had at Maria and Enzo's. Um, but um, as far as tomato, uh, as far as grilled cheese sandwiches go, um, I would prefer grilled cheese sandwiches at like Tom Plus Chi, which is across the street from Disney Springs, uh, if I needed to get a grilled cheese sandwich. Um, so if you're going to Edison, may steer clear of that guy on the menu. Um, but Overall, awesome seeing my friend Sam. He's in town. I don't get to see him all that often, um, except for when folks do come to visit. I think one of the biggest benefits of living in Orlando, where that's awesome, is that people always come to visit um, because of the, the parks and the stuff to do here, which is super awesome. So it was great seeing him. Um, and that's it. We're going to do uh, a couple things tomorrow. I think we've got the lightning on tap, and we've got um, probably the Bush Gardens food and wine stuff on tap. So... Good times all around. Thank you very much for coming along with me. Thank you very much for all of your likes and your comments and your subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys.